Sarasota County Commissioners voting to ban homeless camps. It's part of their ongoing effort to reduce the homeless population. But as Jake Peterson reports, there's new cost with this crackdown. It'll be my second year for being Santa Claus. I love that man. Henry Rogers is a changed man. He enjoys charitable work, like being Santa for the Salvation Army. But just two years ago, I was such a mess out there, man. He spent six years being homeless, living on the streets and in jail. It was easier for me just to do what I did because that's the only thing I knew. A charitable group got Rogers to go to the Salvation Army last year, and now he's off the streets. But I chose to be homeless because I didn't want to be responsible, that's all. County leaders are trying to produce more success stories like Rogers. They're banning homeless camps, making it tougher to be homeless. If a deputy sees a homeless person sleeping on public land and they don't leave, they have two choices. They can go to a nonprofit like the Salvation Army, or they can go to jail. You know, our goal is that it's never, ever enforced. Wayne Appleby is the county's homeless services director. He says the new ordinance should nudge the county's nearly 900 homeless residents into a shelter or housing program. The county also committed around 300,000 bucks to shelters after banning the camps. It's really a mechanism to get people into housing, into housing programs. The crackdown will start in 2018. Rogers hopes others that he once shared the streets with will take advantage of the help. I mean, it was, it was just an unpleasant life out there. Reporting in Sarasota County, Jake Peterson, ABC Action News.